Good morning, friends and fellow traders. This is Doug Campbell with Right Way Options, and this is a morning market prep video for March 15th, 2021. So, hey everyone, I hope you had a fantastic weekend, got some good rest. This morning, we're looking at those bulls trying to push things up, and clearly, we have had a remarkable run up in the market. How about we grab ourselves something to drink, let's settle in, take a look at these technicals and see how we might want to approach the market for today in the Monday edition of the Morning Market Prep video. Well, good morning everyone and looks like we are getting set for another big week in the market. Let's take a look at what we've got going here technically in these charts. Certainly, we have um, a massive bullish run going on here in the Dow. Um, as a matter of fact, the Dow closed on Friday in just a six days um, uh, rally, closed up a full 1,900 points. Um, remarkable rally to the upside. And this morning, we are trying to push that on through with more upside move. Notice that we've got a big upside pre-market candle starting to form here, trying to push up for some more record highs at the open. One thing I want to point out is that once we have ra rallied so much, we want to be really careful not to chase um, a move like this because common sense, just typical logic would tell you that after such a strong bullish run, a pullback could occur at any time. Now, I'm not suggesting that it's going to occur today, only that it could begin at any time. And if you chase a market like this with the fear of missing out, you could um, really damage yourself um, if it does pull back. So watch that closely and carefully. Now, if you're in this rally, then I would suggest stay in the rally, but don't become complacent. Um, one of the things that's real easy to do is think that, you know, we've got this newly printed money, all of these things are good to go. Um, that there will never be another down move in the market and we kind of get complacent and catch ourselves in a problem. So remember, um, as we continue to extend this rally up, it may be a wise thing to be thinking about taking some profits. And remember, we can't be profitable traders until we pull those profits out of the market. Um, it is very easy for the markets and we experienced that just a week ago, how easy it, how easily it is for the market to take the, that money and pull it right out of your accounts. So watch that close. Now, if we do get a rest or pullback in the market, we have plenty of support here in the Dow. Notice breaking through that resistance up here, any rest or pullback doesn't hurt this um, um, index chart at all. As a matter of fact, our trend stays very, very bullish. I will suggest that our trend is a little bit extended at this point, that we could see a longer term either pullback or consolidation occur just to come back and engage that trend. So watch that carefully just in case that does come into play. Let's take a look at the SPY. Now SPY had a really good week last week but not nearly as strong as the Dow. First off, we need to recognize that we have recovered our trend and that is very, very bullish. We broke the downtrend here in the chart, recovered that trend, and we are trying really, really hard to hold on to that price support of that trend. So as long as we can do that, we're in pretty good shape here on that chart. Let's take a look at our moving averages and see that our moving averages, we're in good shape there on those moving averages as well. So if we were to catch a rest or pullback, we could pull back and actually break down below that little support right there. We could break down and still catch some price support levels here in the chart. So just keep a close eye on that. We've got some really, really good looking uh, charts here um, in the Diamonds and Spy, trying to hold up very, very well. But one thing we wanna remember is just the fact that we have rallied a long ways really, really fast rest or pullback could occur. Now, when I say rest or pullback, we could go into more of an extended consolidation. So we move over here and we could have to consolidate for several days here 
just to kind of absor absorb that big move in the market. So we don't necessarily have to fall. We could just rest in here. So watch that close. Then let's take a look at our problem child, and that is the NASDAQ. The NASDAQ is still a bit of a problem here for the overall market. Clearly, um, we've got a broken trend, and clearly that trend to the downside has attempted to be broken here to the upside, but we still have significant price resistance levels in this chart. And if we look at our moving averages, we are still challenged by that 50-day moving average that is starting to flatten out and possibly roll over. Now, we can certainly recover this if we can find enough, enough bullishness to continue to extend here in the market, we could pop right back above there and hold it as support. And if we were to do that, if we were to build a pattern such as that, just kind of keep in mind, this could end up being an inverted head and shoulders pattern um, in that chart. And that would may possibly over offset this head and shoulders pattern that we see on that side. But what this requires is a little bit more work out here, and I wouldn't rule out the possibility that we could um, test that, or continue to test that 50-day moving average, and then still see that failure in the chart and a possible test of the 200-day moving average here eventually. So watch that closely. Um, if we were to get a failure right in here, um, those big techs are very big when it comes to weight in the indexes. If they fail, it will be very, very difficult for the market itself to lift up because the big techs encompass so much weight in those indexes. So watch that closely. This is going to be an interesting battle here for us to keep an eye on. It remains our problem um, in the market. Let's take a look at IWM. Now, IWM very, very strong. We continue to see those oil and oil and gas prices surging to the upside and um, strong, strong performance in the financial sector continues to hold this index up and looking very, very good, breaking through some resistance here in the chart. Any rest or pullback doesn't hurt this chart as long as we hold some of these support levels in here. I think we could be pretty good in this area as long as those hold. So IWM looking very strong, very good. No problems here at the moment, albeit really extended in the short term. And we'll look at that here in just a second, but very extended. We have to kind of keep in mind that what goes up must eventually rest or pull back. We can't just continue to race to the upside as much as we would like to see that. Um, we have to be a little bit careful and cautious here that there may be a rest or pullback coming on the way. So once again, a reminder, don't become complacent. Uh, make sure you stay focused in the price action and the trades that you're in. Stay with them as long as they remain bullish. But remember, we have to take those profits because if this market does turn, it could turn rather violently because of the violence of this move to the upside. Let's take a look at our um, VIX here. Now, our VIX continues to remain uh, relatively elevated. Um, we closed above a 20 handle. Uh, now obviously, we've pushed this fear back a long ways this week, and that is a good sign. However, we still have not broken this price support in this, and it is, I've never, I've repeated this before, I have never seen new market highs being made with the VIX this elevated. I don't know what that means, but I do know that it creates tremendous price volatility. So we'll have to be careful. If the market does happen to stumble and, and slip back, we could see those prices really sink fast um, if fear starts to kick up. What we want to see is we want to see that fear continuing to drop out of the market, get us down below here, hold that area as resistance and keep moving us down in that fear. That's where we want to be. So far, not the case. So we're going to have to stay on our toes and watch that pretty closely. But it is a good sign that we are um, just day after day seeing a little bit of drop in that fear. 
let's take a look at our um, economic calendar, or excuse me, um, our T2122, which is the four week new high, new low ratio. Now, this is the problem, one of the major problems that we have right now, in that our short term indicator here, four week new high, new low, is suggesting an extreme overbought condition. Now we can continue to maintain that for a period of time, but eventually all of those buyers kind of wear out. And as we push up here, um, we are in an extreme and we're gonna gap up this morning, making this even more extreme. Keep in mind that any time that has occurred in the past, any time that has occurred in the past, when we reach up there, we do eventually catch a pullback. And sometimes those pullbacks can be rather violent. So make sure you stay, stay focused here and um, don't get too complacent that the market will never come back. Certainly printed money can move the market a lot, but it may not um, overcome other issues that we have to address in the market. So just watch that close. Then let's take a look at our economic calendar for today. Now our economic calendar is pretty light overall today, but we have some things this week that we're really going to want to pay attention to. Notice we've got the Empire State Manufacturing number here at 830. Probably not going to move the market. Um, much at all um, and Treasury International Capital later on today. What's going to really be interesting is when we kick over into the later part of this week and notice that we have retail sales coming out tomorrow. That one certainly can move the market substantially. Um, import export prices and what we want to recognize is we're going to begin the FOMC meeting on Tuesday. Um, so um, FOMC can sometimes get the market on its own to just kind of pause and rest as we wait um, for their decision. Um, so keep that in mind. We've got a busy calendar. We've got that industrial production, business inventories, housing market index on Tuesday. And then we flip over here into Wednesday and we have housing starts and permits that can definitely move the market, petroleum numbers, and then that FOMC announcement with a Fed chair press conference after. So we'll want to keep an eye on this and just realize that a gap up open this morning could end up seeing some resting or pulling back um, beginning at any time choppy price action um, as we wait for this data to come out we also want to keep in mind that as we're as we're doing this um, bonds are staying up there um, and not backing off if we take a look at TNX the 10-year yield notice that our bonds are staying elevated here um, heading into that FOMC uh, meeting. So that kind of goes, flies in the face of the bullishness that we're seeing this morning. We're trying to ignore it, but how long can we continue to ignore if um, fears of inflation continue to creep in? So watch that close. Then let's take a look um, at our earnings calendar. Our earnings calendar today, we have um, almost 100 companies on the list, but we have a lot of very, very small, small cap companies, a lot of companies that with unverified reports. And so I could really only come up with um, just a few uh, notables today to um, kind of take a look at. Um, HQY, HQY will be reporting today. Uh, keep an eye on that. You can see that this has been in a little bit of a downtrend, but it's been a relatively controlled downtrend, not all that rough. Um, holding on to some price support in here, so it could be a critical report. Um, keep an eye on that. Um, FE. NG will be reporting today. Keep an eye on this one. Boy, this thing flops around all over the place. Bit of a dangerous chart to be trading, but notice that we've got some support in here, breaking this downtrend uh, bullish move in here that holds above here could be um, a nice setup for a potential trade. So keep a close eye on that. And then we have VUZI. The only other one that I have is maybe a notable this morning. Um, Keep an eye on that. 
Um, looks like it's trying to push a little higher this morning. Could potentially reach, you know, a double top situation here unless those earnings are good enough to push on through. So watch that close. So with that, everyone, how about we take a look at some stocks that could be setting up for today? But before we do that, guys, if you could do me a quick favor, if this is the first time you've seen these videos, if you could please click that subscribe button on YouTube and then also click that bell icon when it pops up so that you can be notified every time I post one of these videos. And if you feel that the video was worthy, if it helped you prepare for the day, do me a favor and click that thumbs up button, leave a brief comment that helps Helps the channel to continue to grow. I just want to say thank you to everyone. We crossed over 18,000 subscribers. Um, um, it just blows me away that there's folks out there that that are um, interested in this kind of content and I just want to say thank you to everyone you guys are awesome and also a big shout out and thank you to to those folks that have supported the channel through the buy me a coffee um, site if you look at in, at the link below the title um, if you're not a member of hit run candlesticks or right way options and want to support the channel or, or just want to support this kind of content um, feel free the, obviously there's no obligation to do so but i just want to say thank you to everyone that has you guys are awesome let's take a look at um, some stock setting up and remember that every time i show a stock in these videos that they're not a recommendation to buy or sell any security you need to do your own due diligence um, on these charts so be really really focused um, um, into your own rules and your own plan make sure you understand the risk of these trades let's take a look um, i've been seeing um, this really strong rally here um, in x now seeing steel starting to come back up and um, X is trying to break out up here. Now it's not ready for prime time yet. It's not ready for a buy. This is overextended in the short term, but I would wanna keep an eye maybe on the steel sector. If we're going to rally um, in this market, if we're gonna to continue to push up, um, I think these um, stocks in the um, building sector, um, um, the infrastructure rebuilding sector would be very, very bullish to. Uh, keep an eye on and as you can see pushing up here now I think this needs a rest and what I'll do is is draw this out everyone sees this pattern correct if a nice little resting pattern out here creates a massive cup and handle pattern keep an eye on X pretty interesting chart again not ready for prime time but a chart that you might want to watch closely I continue to keep a close eye here on Disney um, Disney uh, I have a price alert set on this chart right in here and it popped it on Friday but pulled back I'm not really a big stock buyer on Friday but I think with any kind of little rest um, uh, or continuation of this rest and move out toward this trend uh, this gets better and better I love the fact when I find a chart where I see that the buyers aren't pushing through um, at, at the moment the sellers don't want to sell and we're just kind of resting what happens is that volatility in that stock drops back making the options prices better and better and better and then I would be looking for that opportunity when that pops up out of there expanding that volatility so watch that closely Disney looking pretty good keep an eye on Starbucks Starbucks also in that kind of pattern where we've pushed through this resistance and we're just kind of resting in here nice little consolidating move pretty precise in its price action buyers and sellers are kind of in agreement on price and if this slides out here toward that trend watch for that opportunity to that for that to pop and keep in mind this could go at any time but watch that closely Starbucks looking pretty darn good overall take a look at rig rig um, i've been mentioning this chart in these videos for a while and as you can see rig made a big move the other day boom popped hard um, in that and now three days of just little tiny resting pattern now what's important about that is no one apparently wants to sell it after such a big move everyone is still holding so let's watch this if this rests out here for a little bit more if those buyers can really start to pick this up as we get closer to trend watch for that next opportunity 
up here in um, rig I think Valero is another one we should be keeping an eye on now Valero breaking through a major resistance in the chart big old price resistance there in that chart holding up in this area and just kind of you know shifting along sideways dancing along that support level if this holds in here watch for that next opportunity for that to maybe perk through and pop on out. Now I've been mentioning these um, retailers here recently, talking about those and Friday KSS took off to the upside. As you can see, this is one of those beautifully concise patterns that's very easy to watch, very easy to read. We rest and then we move and then we rest and then we move. And here we are, we're starting that next move to the upside. Keep a close eye on Kohl's. I'll also mention UAA. Now UAA, I want to let everyone know I've been holding this longer term um, and um, a beautiful profit in this trade. But what I want to point out here is that we've broken through a, that next level of resistance in the chart, that price resistance, and we're pushing on up from this area. Now, I wouldn't rule out the possibility that this may still have to rest back and can contact that trend in here before it really takes off, but keep an eye on UAA. These little retailers are really picking up and have held really, really strong, and you can look at um, Abercrombie, you can look at American Eagle, you can look at the Gap stores. Um, they're all doing pretty well. So keep a close eye on some of these little retailers. Um, really, really strong um, uh, pattern setups in these charts. Let's take a look at TLRY. TLRY, these cannabis stocks have struggled here recently, pulling back. And TLRY is one of those charts that's really starting to hold up here and look pretty good. Notice that we stretched away from our 50-day moving average. We really stretched away from trend here. Got too carried away. And when that occurs, when we get too carried away, we normally get a rest or a pullback. Um, it can be pretty substantial when it pulls back after we overextend. And um, as you can see, we've held that 50 and now we've rallied and we're consolidating this move. We're right along this area here in the chart. So I'm keeping a close eye on this chart. If we can pop through, if we can get those bulls to pop through, that would potentially create that re resumption of trend. So keep an eye on TLRY starting to perk up and look um, rather decent here. On that longer term front that I've been talking about here recently, um, and I think everyone should have a little bit exposure to some longer term trades, take a look at 3M. Now 3M, um, a very bullish chart here. We broke this major downtrend. This is a weekly chart, by the way. Um, RWO started entering this trade here, and we're looking really good in this position. That continues to look bullish and may continue to start moving out. These big divvy payers are perking up, and it might be worth keeping an eye on them. Another one that you might want to keep a close eye on that's just starting to form up here is Kroger. Now, Kroger's been a very volatile stock, and this is this is a weekly chart again. Been very volatile, lots of wicks and tails all over the place. But notice that we're starting to shape up here just a little bit. We had this nice um, higher low reversal here, pushing up any rest or pullback consolidation in here could set up that opportunity to the upside. And if we were to switch that over to a daily chart, you can see we've got a pretty decent pattern here. So let that rest or pullback occur, consolidation maybe occur, and we could resume um, a daily uptrend in here. So watch that carefully. Good looking chart starting to form up. And again, it's one of those defensive sector stocks that um, have been holding up quite well. And last but not least, this one I think is out of the box now. This should not be chased by anyone, but um, Altria, there's that long-term pattern again. Um, our right way options entry was in this area and you can see we've extended up nicely. Now what I like about this chart is that um, any rest or pullback now 
any rest or pullback that comes back here and contacts the trend sets up an opportunity for more upside in that chart. So keep an eye on charts like Mo, those big Divi payers. They're looking pretty good. Last but not least, I'm going to point out AT&T. Now, AT&T surged heavily off of this low. We tried to get going the other day, ended up pulling back with the rest of the market, resting right in this area. Keep an eye on this, another big dividend payer. If this can get moving, break through some resistance in this chart, we could see some recovery here on AT&T. And I know they're planning on selling their Viacom unit, which could spike that move up um, and get her going so watch that close so with that everyone hey i want to wish you all a fantastic day i want to wish you great results in your trading thank you for watching today i truly truly appreciate it thanks for all of the kind words and support to the channel you guys are awesome and we'll see you right back here bright and early tuesday morning have a good day everyone